welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. We are about to get started with the show. Before we do, I just want to give a few little tips for everybody. Are they tips? Uh, whatever they are, here I go. Um, if you would like to join the show live, you can join the show live every Monday at noon and Wednesday, as of right now at noon, I might be changing that to an evening show. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, the, what's the date today? 20th, <laughs> I will be doing a show at 8 p.m. Central Time with Marla Martinson. We will be taking callers, answering questions, um, and both of us will be answering each person's question, which should be a lot of fun and extremely informative. Marla and I always have fun together when we do a show. I have um, been on Marla's podcast and her um, show a couple of times. I did upload those to my website if you'd like to go listen to them. Now, Marla's the mystical matchmaker and she's a dating coach. And our shows are always filled with either healings and clearings or dating stuff. So there you go. Uh, my website is t-o-n-i-g.info, tonyg.info. Um, if you would like to join the show live, you can join by calling in 845-277-9131, or you can join us on YouTube. And on YouTube for like 15 to 20 minutes prior to the show, we're talking about we're just chatting. People come on and they ask what their song is. And they also ask, um, they might ask a question or two, but mostly we just chat prior to the show. So that's always a lot of fun. And just, you know, a, a very good time for everybody in the chat, I think. That's why they come. That's why they're there. Um, I do want to say thank you to everybody in the chat. And I want to let you know that if you do whatever you're listening on, if you click the like or subscribe or whatever buttons they are, you will know whenever I'm coming on. So if you're listening on one of the almost all the podcast stations that I'm on or um YouTube or blog talk or whatever you're listening on, if you you know, hit that button, you'll be notified whenever I'm coming on, because I am going to be doing a lot more spontaneous shows with other people, and also on my own. Um, second, there was a second, but I can't remember it. Happens often. Yeah, alrighty. Okay, if I remember it, I'll tell you, but not that. It's obviously not that important, right? They want me to get on with the show. If you're new here, the first part of the show, the second part of the show, and then we go into the third and fourth part of the show. The first part of the show are names from names. It can be your name, a loved one on the other side's name, or a name of someone that you care about, like a child that you have, a grandchild, their, their grandchild, your child, or great-grandchild. Either way... Um, the name will mean something to you. Uh, so we're going to start with names. And if it's, if it's a name of a loved one, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's the name of a loved one, it can be for more than one person. Um, just if one person claims the name, it doesn't mean it's not also for you. So the first name I'm hearing is, <laughs> as I'm talking, she's just screaming in my ear, Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. I don't know if this is their name or the name of somebody listening, but Sophia, <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> um, the next name is Carmela and Carmen. Okay, so Carmen and Carmela. And then the next name is uh, Luisa. I want to say it's Louisa, not Luis, but uh, get in where you fit in with that. Louisa, for sure. Um, and then the next name is... Uh, 
<laughs> Jensen, there's like three J names coming at me at once. Like I'm literally backing away from them. Jacqueline, Jonathan, and Jonelle. And that's a J, Jonelle. And then um okay, I'm just gonna do a, a couple, a couple more names and then we're gonna move on to songs. So whoever uh Betty and then Beatrice. Hmm. Beatrice, I I have not heard that name in a minute. And Amelia. And Amelia. I love the name Amelia. Love it. Love the name Amelia. Okay, next we're going to do songs. This could be a song that is answering a question or telling you what you need to do with, in response to a question that you may have about love, life, career, finances. It could be a song that a loved one on the other side loved or that you love or they lis you listened to these songs together. So the first song that I'm hearing is Ron. Ride way up to the sky. Ride something. Ride way up to the sky. I don't. I uh, uh, maybe that's Fly Robin. Fly way up to the sky, which I've had that song before, but I'm hearing it as ride, not fly. That could just be me not getting the song right. See, you guys think I know these songs and I pre-plan them. I do not. Half the time, I don't even know the songs coming out of my <clears throat> peeps. Okay, the next song is... I don't know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bring me some words. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, whoever knows that song, uh, please give me that song because that would be, um, I can't get the words. I can't, I, that's all I'm getting. And the next song is Jukebox Hero. And the next song is, um, I'm just hearing the group. I think it's a, it's a group, Rat, R-A-T-T, -T, Rat, anything by them. And then the next song is, um, I am hearing this again, Live and Let Die, which was I it, Live and Let Die or Live and Let, yeah, Live and Let Die, whatever that song is, if that's for, um, I'm hearing it again. And then, and the last song I'm hearing is a Star Spangled Banner for whomever that is for. That cracks me up. Um, so yes. Uh, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to channel for a moment, just for a minute. I didn't do it on Monday show and I, I missed it. So we're going to do it today and they really want me to because there's a really big message coming through. So just give me a second here and we're going to start channeling. For those of you who don't know what channeling is, either you're new or you're just not familiar with that term. It's where um, angels or enlightened ones, um, spirit whatever you want to call it, comes in and gives you messages about your, about moving forward or about life here or whatever you need it to be. Okay. Um, so here we go. <clears throat> and somebody asked why I keep my eyes closed. It's because they flicker a lot if they're open and I don't that would be very distracting and I don't want to be distracting from their message. Okay, here we go. We need you to know that it is imperative that you are not distracted by what is going on around you or in the outside of you. Anything that is being heard or seen at this time as an outside influence, please push it aside and only pay attention to what is going on on the inside of you, in your mind, in your brain, in your thoughts. We need you to know that that is where creation is the ground zero. That is where creation begins. The only thing that can appear in front of you 
is what you have already thought or what you are already thinking. Now, a person at peace may not watch or entertain those things that are causing unpeaceful moments because they are at peace and they are not projecting out this in their future. Where a person in turmoil or inner conflict may be seeing and dealing with many people who are in turmoil and in conflict. We need you to focus in and plant seeds that you want to see today, tomorrow, and for the rest of your being time here. As you plant these seeds, which are just thoughts, they are just thoughts, thoughts that you hold on to, even if only momentarily. These thoughts will lead you to what you want. You need but take two minutes to plant a thought. You need but take two minutes, sometimes as little as two seconds, depending on your vibrational status in this plane. When you can take that bit of time and just plant that seed or that vision, when you plant a seed for a sunflower, you can see the sunflower as you intend for it to grow. What we need you to do is plant those thoughts and then see the outcome of that thought and know that nothing can interfere with that. Know that you are the ruler of your kingdom or queendom. It is up to you. And let no other thought or no other person know the seeds that you are planting or the thoughts that you are planting for their ideal and their perspective and their vibration and their world may look very different than yours. And you, they may not see what you are capable of seeing or envisioning. Therefore, they may interfere with your vision or your thoughts coming to fruition. We need you to stay strong in your belief systems. And if those belief systems have led you to a place that you do not feel comfortable or do not feel you are where you want to be, simply take a breath, have a new thought, allow yourself to come into this place where you are now having thoughts that are in alignment with what you want. And you may say to us, but I've had these thoughts and then something happens. Okay, then you push out the something that has happened and you go back to your thought. We are not saying that in the beginning or that always it will be constant, but once you get into the flow of it, it will not go away. And you will be creating in your own divinity, in your own world. And those people and those things and those uh, uh, outside distractions, you will no longer entertain them so that you can be in that space of your own divinity, your own kingdom and creating it the way you want. And a kingdom or a queendom, the king doesn't ask the joker or the gesture what he should do for his next move. No, he would never do that. She would never do that. They know deep inside what's best for their kingdom. And the kingdom lies within you. The kingdom is you. You need not care what's going on with other people in other ways in this world. You need not worry about how their kingdom or queendom is being run, you need to focus in only on yours. For focusing on other people's kingdoms or queendoms adds to theirs but takes from yours. You need to be so solid in yours that nothing, nothing can interfere or waver from it. And it is your kingdom, your queendom. You need not fight anybody out. It is a matter of a thought. I am done with this. You are gone. If a person is miserable all the time or depressed or always saying icky things, 
let that person be removed from your kingdom. It's not cruel. That's just not your vibration. It's not where you're going. If a person is sketchy or they lie or you catch them doing things that are of a sneaky element, let them be gone. If for whatever reason there is mistrust or mishandling, it doesn't matter if it's your thought, their thought, reality, non-reality, let them be gone. Your kingdom cannot flourish and grow the way you want it to if you are preoccupied with other people's behaviors, thoughts, and moods. You must be so strong in your own that you are creating a kingdom or a queendom that everybody wants a part of. And then once you are there, you may teach it to others. But first, you focus and you get there. All right, then. I like it. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Here we go with the show. I am going to say area codes, and I'm going to go back and forth between questions in on YouTube and questions on the call log. I will do one at a time. And if I call your area code, please tell me where you're calling from, your first name. And then um, please make sure all background noise is uh, turned off. Turned off. Can I say that prediction? Okay, I'm going to ask everybody in YouTube, do you want a prediction? It's really politically incorrect. I already have a yes. A yes. Everybody wants it. Okay, don't hate on me for what I'm about to say. Don't come at me for what I'm about to say. Here it is. And I have been telling this privately in sessions to people. So saying it publicly is, um, I might, I might lose my YouTube feed again. <laughs> if I do, let me know. Um, so did anybody hear Michael Obama's mother has passed? If you know, you know. And Michael Obama is originally from Illinois. And on in Illinois, you have to use the legal birth name on inheritance papers and legal documents. All you have to do is look it up. And if you're wondering why they've been pushing that agenda, they may be thinking of making a run for presidency. And if you know, you know. Don't come at me. Do your research. I would love to see one picture, one picture of Michelle Obama pregnant. One wedding picture. Dun, dun, dun. Now, I don't really care. I don't care. What you do is what you do, but don't push your agenda and make it normal just so you can make that run and flush us further down the toilet. So if you know, you know, and now I'm going to go to callers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 205. <laughs> 205, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, and this is Patricia Thompson from Alabama. Thank you so much. Um, I love your show. I enjoy you for taking my call. And I, and I have talked to you, Tony, about this, um, of course, about my home and um, how I received damages, storm damages last year. Um, I had to get a adjuster. Um, the adjusters ran and I demanded a, um, a um, appraisal. Um, adjusters came out in June of last year. They ran into an impasse by September of last year. We had to bring in an umpire. I was awarded amount. 
the homeowner's insurance pet on that into December. I brought in an attorney in January of this year. I've had her for six months. What has taken place is I hired her since all the work was done and there was a ward on the table to sue because we already saw that this insurance company would delay and, you know, we dealt with a lot with trying to get the award money in place. So where we're standing now is um, she had settled, and I did not hire her to settle. And what I mean by settling is it's been a couple of times she's asked me, um, do you want to file a suit? We have 70 percent. Um, and they're holding 30%. And so do you want to file suit? I've told her, yes, let's file suit. She has drafted the declaratory, but she has not filed suit. So last Friday, I talked to her again. She said, okay, they're holding the money. I've negotiated, you know, and negotiated. They're holding the 30%. Would you like to file suit? And then the next thing I know, the checks are in the mail for me to sign. So I haven't talked to her to ask her if she has any intentions on filing suit. Uh, do she have the expertise to go ahead and file suit, take this to trial, and uh, confidence in, you know, um, being able to argue it? Well, I haven't, she hasn't called me back. So I want to withdraw her and bring in uh, another attorney. I tried to do this initially in the beginning, bring on attorneys from Huntsville, and she convinced me, no, you know, I have the expertise, I have the witnesses, I have this. She can handle it. So I trusted her. So my question is, do you um, um, do you see if I go to these attorneys again in Huntsville, after I counsel, call, consultation, consult, consult with them on um, um, uh, uh, do you see them taking me on uh, seriously? And if not, do you see someone local here in my area? Because Huntsville is an hour and a half away. They were willing to do it at first and talk to her about doing it. But again, she convinced me and I told them no. So do you see them taking me on or do you see someone local here? And maybe perhaps an initial okay. that you can, you know, direct it towards. Okay. I do see them taking you on. Attorneys will always say yes when there's money on the table. I don't know any attorney that will say no if there's money on the table. What you need to ask them, however, it's not what you, you have to ask them questions rather than make statements of what, of declaration or what you want. So you have to say, how would you handle this? And what do you think a fair outcome would be? Not will you file suit? Okay. Anybody can file suit. It may just end up costing you say, how would you see this being best handled? And what do you see the outcome possibly being if you handle it that way? Now, when we are in situations like this, it first goes to litigation in the court so you'll sit down with a probably, I forget what they're called, maybe a litigator um, with the insurance company and a litigator that just tries to negotiate a good settlement. So beyond the attorney trying to settle it, then you sit in a room in a court with the insurance company and try to negotiate it. And then it goes to actual court if you get to that point. I would say one of the things I would say is make sure they can get you the outcome that you want. Now, I do feel the people an hour and a half away, there, there is a good choice there. I do feel like they will work with you and get you as close as possible to what you want. I also feel like there might be somebody just a little closer than them, not in your general area, but a little closer Either way, you can't go wrong. They will be able to help you and get you what you want. And then I would also um, not communicate via voicemail with this person, this current attorney, but rather email and uh, point 
um, what is that called? Like um, uh, bullet point, bullet point the things that are erroneous in her actions. And that is what I'm getting for you. I hope that is helpful, love. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Many blessings to you. You too. Thank and you. Make sure when you're emailing your current attorney that you point out the number of times you've asked her that she asked you to file suit and you have confirmed that. Just make sure you're pointing that out and say, so where is this and why is it not here? And just bullet point it. Make it very brief and bullet point it. Okay, love? Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. I'm going to go to 586. 586, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Sharon. I'm calling from Michigan. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. How are you? Hi. Thank you. Excellent. How can I help you today? Yes, I have a question. Okay. Yes, my question. I would like a message from the other side regarding um, me and my significant other is really behind on the rent. And um, he just had court today. And they said that we had to come um, 10 days to figure out um, a payment before I hope we don't get evicted. So I was wondering, do you see how that goes? Do you see like an unexpected check through the, coming through the mail? Do you see us moving? Or what do you see around that area? Okay. Please and thank you. You are so welcome, love, and I am so sorry for what's going on. Um, before you said uh, Thank you. the one thing I heard move, I heard move. Um, here's, a, you know, I always say this to people, and I'm going to say it to you. Whatever cash job you can get, get it. Um, whether it's like bartending, waiting tables, um, even if it's just like a temporary cash job, if there's something you can do, like I call it a kitchen job, but it's not a kitchen job. <laughs> it's like whatever you can do at your kitchen table, if you can do hair, if you can like whatever you can do in your home, like healing work, I, I call it a kitchen table job, but it's really not a kitchen table job. Um, it's just something you can do out of your home for cash. If you can make pies or cakes or um, and not the, okay, let me clarify, not the kind of pies they talk about in trap music. I am not advocating for that, okay? Or whatever they talk about, that is not what I am saying here. I don't even, I, whatever. Um, but if there is something that you can do from your home for cash, you can, you know, get get it together and get it out and bring in that money quickly great awesome perfect um if you do not do that you will be stuck pretty much stuck and they will definitely expel you from the place i'm not getting they're going to do it in 10 days but i do get the process will move forward and then you'll be you know, um, because if you don't do it, here's the thing. If you don't do it within 10 days, then after that, they don't have to accept money and you just need to be on your way anyway. So I'm getting moved, but I'm also getting to um, find anything you and your significant other, anything you can do either on the side, full time, whatever it is for cash um, and do it. It just do it. Get as much cash together as you can and move forward. Um, and unfortunately, unfortunately, that's where you are and this is what they're saying. And I know this might not be the answer that you're looking for, but I hope it is helpful and it gives you the clarity you need to like hit the ground running and get there. Do what you have to do. Now, here's the other okay. thing. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, go ahead. Oh, here's I'm the sorry. other okay. thing. Like if I'm in that situation, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reach out to everybody I know and say, hey, 
Do you need a driver? Do you need me to go pick up groceries? I need cash. I'll run your errands. I'll do this. I'll do that. Do you need me to do your laundry? Do you need me to come clean your house? I don't do toilets. Um, you don't want me doing your toilet. Yeah. But, you know, whatever it is that you can do even temporarily, like it's not you're you're not taking this on for the rest of your life. You're just doing it now, but you're reaching out to people saying, hey, let everybody know if they need this service, I'm available, whatever it is. And I do feel like also you may need to start packing your stuff and putting it someplace right now um, just because you may not have that opportunity to do it at a later date or time. I feel like the more you pack up now, the better it's going to be. And even if you just pack up the things that are not being used right now, like they're winter things or whatever, that's going to be really powerful for you yeah. the just in case. Okay, love. But I do in the end. Okay. In the end, I do feel like you're going to be forced to move or have to move. So what I would say is even if you, I don't like saying this because at one time I was a landlord and I feel really badly saying this, but I'm going to say it to you. Even if you get the money and you give it to them, I feel like it might be too little too late. And then you've just given them all the money that you have and you're still ass out without a pout. Okay. I just feel like you might need to start saving for a new place and you need to do that with a quickness and you need to not mess around. Don't F around and find out. Um, and any cash job, any way you can bring in money that is legal folks. Don't come at me. That is legal. Do it. Okay, love? Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome. Have a great day. I hope you do too. And I'm sorry for what you're going through right now. I'm really sorry for what you're going through. Oh, oh thank you. My angels and universe has already done. They took care of everything. Good. I manifest. It's done. Everything is taken care of. Okay, now remember when we manifest, we have to take that Thanks. step. We have to take that action. So get on it, okay, love? Oh, yeah, this is done. Excellent. Thank it's you, done. love. Thank you so much for calling in. I hope Thank you have you. an amazing rest of the day. You too. Bye. Bye for now. Okay, if you'd like to call in and ask a question about love, life, career, finances, or connect with a loved one on the other side, there are a lot of grandmas up in here today. A lot of grandmas up in here today. Um, the number is 845-277-9131. If you are watching me on YouTube, thank you. Thank you so much. And yes, you can ask a question in the chat. So I think your name is Jessa. You may have a reading here in career. Please um, uh, ask, ask a specific question about career, and I will be happy um, to uh, answer that for you. And I am going to go to, I think the next number is 510. 510, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, this is Tamika from California. Uh, I had a message about when do you see me getting a job? Okay. Um, it's funny because, not funny, but I hear tomorrow. Now, anybody who's listened to me for more than a minute knows tomorrow doesn't necessarily mean tomorrow. It means it's coming in hot. It's coming in quick. I feel like you're going to have the potential or an offer. Okay. You're not going to love this offer. I'm going to tell you that you're not going to love this offer. The first offer that's coming in, you are not going to love it. However, Tamika, I always tell everybody, say yes. Mm -hmm. Say yes, because once we have something, once we have a job, even if we haven't started it yet, we ha are in a new energy. We have that confidence and other opportunities come in. The door opens to other opportunities. So the first offer that comes in, even if you don't like it, say yes, and then keep pushing out 
send out, I hear there is a job that you may have applied for or sent a resume to that you were kind of a little, you, you kind of wanted it or a little excited about it. And I hear you need to send them a reminder, something saying, hey, don't, that song, don't you forget about me. No, no, that song is coming through. So, so send a little push, push reminders, resend your resume, resend your, um, resend your resume, resend, you know, like I'm just reminding you, I just wanted to touch base, see if this has been filled. Uh, and sometimes the first person they, they choose doesn't stay. So I feel like you need to send a reminder to somebody you've already sent something out to. I feel like you are going to get an answer back this week and Monday, something this week and Monday, I feel like it's coming in very quickly and you're going to be happy with your end result, meaning you might not be happy with the first offer, but you will be happy with the second offer. And the first offer might be like, this is what you we can give you. And then you come back and say, you know what? I really need this. And then they go, okay, well, we'll negotiate okay. to here. Whatever that means for you, don't never be able to, never be afraid to negotiate with employers. Don't think if you ask for a little bit more, they're going to say no. They're either going to say, we, we really want you and we can't do that, or they're going to negotiate a different amount for you. No, employers are used to men coming in and negotiating they're used to negotiating with men. We, us women just have to get into that energy of it's okay to ask for what we want. Okay. If we don't get it, we might get close. Just like men, they ask for what they want. If they don't get it, they'll get close. Okay. Whew. I hope, okay. that's, I hope that's helpful, love. Yeah. Excellent. I'm praying on a job. I've been praying every day. Okay. Remember, um, and I, I think you have to check your spam email also. Make sure you're checking your spam and making sure nothing went like in the wrong email. Okay, sweetie? Okay. All right. I'll do that now. Okay. Thank you, love. Thank you so much for calling in. And I'm here when you need okay. me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Bye. Uh, the next caller is 623, and I, but I have a uh, question online from a Jessa. Who is the person I should talk inside the CPC company to resolve my current conflict in my job and let me stay and work there? Any description of this person, please? Okay. Um, the first thing I hear, Jessa, is no. Who is the person I should talk to inside my inside the CPC company? I'm I'm breaking down the question so I can get the answer one at a time. So please be patient. Who's the person I should talk to? I hear no, no one. There's no one there that's going to help you there. Um, inside the current company to resolve my current conflict in my job. And the part that I really, and let me stay and work there. Um, okay, I'm not, here's the thing. And Jessa, I'm going to just apologize in advance in case you've never listened to me before. I'm a channel, so I don't lie and I don't fluff. They come straight through and give you the info. And a lot of times people know not to ask me questions if they're not ready for the answer. But I'm really grateful you asked because um, you need to know to start looking for something else. You need to know to get on something else. If it was an unjust termination, which you're saying it was, you need to find First priority, find another position, okay? And here's my thing. Well, first I'm going to finish this. You need to find, just get on it, find another position, and there is something better waiting for you. You might not see that. It's like when we 
break up with a friend or we break up with a person or we end a job and then we end up in something better or if they leave us and then we end up with something so much better and we don't even care about what we lost because we have something so much better. That's what I feel is coming in. This didn't happen to you. This happened for you. That job has some questionable energy going on. It has a little toxicity, like a septic tank, I might say, like a septic tank. And who wants to go to work in a septic tank atmosphere? So what I'm getting for you is please just start looking for something new, like cut, 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 cut connection completely. Say, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. Um, you're giving me, they're, they're like breaking into full on gospel. And of all the things I cannot sing, especially a song that's made up, is gospel or anything. Um, they are saying it's time for you to like, look at this like, like, hallelujah, praise the Lord, I'm going to get something so much better, my life's about to kick it off, I'm going to be in that, in that. And there's just something coming in that's, uh, like, it's going to be just so much better for you, but you have to get on it now. You have to get on it now. Remember, when you leave someplace or someplace like for whatever reason, their choice, your choice. And a lot of times it's their choice because you've been praying for something better. You've been saying, oh, sweet baby Jesus, please let my job change. I want a, I want a job that looks like A, B, and C, but you've got the X, Y, and poo poo Z of a job. They will one way or another get you up out of that job to get you into what you have been asking for. And know that company cannot give you what you want or deserve. So they're like, we're just going to pull your little butt up and we're going to drop you over here where you belong, where you can get all the goodness and juiciness that you deserve. So get on that. Find your next step. Leave this so far behind and move into just such a better place, sweetie, because I feel like that is coming for you. Don't let the stress of what happened affect your next step. Look at it like the blessing it is and just move forward. Okay. Okay. I hope that's helpful, beautiful girl. I'm going to go straight into 623. 623, what's your name and where are you calling from? It's Rebecca from Arizona. Hi, Tony. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh. I have a question regarding health. I have this um, blemishes on my hands, dark blemishes. Are you able to tell me what they are? Um, what I can tell you is you need to detox. Um, I would get apple. The first thing I'm seeing is, um, and I'm not, okay, just, oh, Jesus, Moses and Mary. I'm not a, I am not a medical professional. I am not giving health advice. Okay. I've said it. Here we go. Okay. The first thing I'm seeing is apple pectin. Okay. It will take out even heavy metals from the bottle body. So apple pectin, P-E-C-T-I-N. And the second thing I'm seeing, oh, two things came in. Um, the second thing I'm seeing is black seed oil. You can get the liquid. I like the gel caps personally. And then <clears throat> a burdock root. <clears throat> burdock root is the next thing that I am getting for you. Those are the three things that you should be taking right now on a regular um, that will help you to improve all of this and to make sure that whatever you're putting on your skin is natural. Um, I personally will use either coconut oil or almond oil and sometimes even olive oil on my skin um, just because I know it's very natural. There's no toxins in it. So anything you put on your skin at this time should be extremely 100% natural. Remember, coconut oil has an antibacterial in it. So if you're putting it on your skin, okay. 
it already has an antibacterial in it. Okay, love? Okay. Excellent. I hope Thank that was you. Thank you, Tony. Oh my goodness, you are so welcome. You have an amazing day and until next time, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Have a great day. You too. You too. Um, 405, you're going to be next right after I answer Isabella's question. Isabella wants to know, hi, Tony, does my dad, Doug, have any messages for me? Yep, he sure does. And he used to be like, kind of talk a little, I don't mean this in a whatever way, but he kind of used to talk a little funny is what I'm getting. Like when he was, maybe when he was trying to be funny, I don't know if he talked a little funny all the time. Um, and Isabella, as soon as I tap into your dad, I don't know if this is your dad or somebody else over there, but do you know somebody on the other side that had a stroke? If not, this is for somebody listening who has re who has lost somebody who had a stroke. But the first thing I hear is um, he used to talk just a little funny or just the way he would, he would, I don't know if he tried to be comical or um, just be like, just the way he made sentences was a little off. I don't know. Okay. Okay. He had a great sense of humor. Okay. Thank you for, for saying that. Thank you for confirming that. The first thing he wants to tell you, Isabella, is it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to like, um, take the reins. And it's so funny. Sometimes when they're saying things, I do the motion before I even know what's coming out of my mouth. Take the reins and like, <laughs> for those of you listening, I am so sorry. That's like taking the reins and smacking them so that the horse will move. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's time to move forward and to be to, to think of you. Okay, to think of you, to take this time and to like really look at what you want, how you want your life to be and where you want your life to go. And then to just move to, to just like run forward with that. Now, some people... <clears throat> will think how can you think only of yourself you're not thinking only of yourself because the better you make your life the better you, the lives of the people around you will be we are not here and i cannot be clearer about this and men come in and they're brought up with this perspective to be the breadwinner to be that person that does everything they need to do in career for their passion for their purpose for their work where women are brought up sometimes to be that person that takes care of everybody but themselves. And what they're saying, right, what your dad is saying right now for you, Isabella, is it's time for you to think like a man in that way. Whatever it is that you've been thinking about progressing or moving forward in, it's time for you to do that. Like eat your plate, not literally your plate, but the food on, it's time for you to sit down and make your food, your put to make your plate and eat it. Okay. So like to me, that is put the food, put whatever you want on your plate and eat it. Don't worry about your, your diet or what everybody else is thinking. Create your plate and live it. Okay. Um, it's your, I just keep hearing it's your time. It's your time. So I'm going to say this, Isabella, if you are already working and you've been thinking of progressing in this area or taking on this on the side, it's time for you to do that. I'm going to give an example. This is not an exact. Again, this is an example, not an exact. So an example would be, let's say your career is right where you want it to be, but you've always wanted to do this, this, uh, this hobby or side thing or start professional like uh, Latin dancing. Okay, it's time for you to do that or whatever it is that would be the side thing. Uh, maybe start your own business uh, that you're going to start slowly implementing and getting up, 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 up. 
Okay, that whatever it is for you, Isabella, it's time for you to move forward, whether that means in a partnership, in, in, in work, in family, um, whatever it is, it's time for you to do that. That's his biggest message. And if you don't know what that is today, you will by the end of the month. Okay, if you don't know what he's talking about in moving forward, you will by the end of the month. Okay. That's what he wants you to know. And uh, he lo he loves you. Yes. Okay. 405. 405. What's your name? Hello. It's Go ahead. Hi, Tony. It's Heather from Oklahoma. Heather, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. We're headed to a dental appointment right now. But I was going to see is um, my grandma, uh, Karen, there. Yeah. The message. Yeah. Um, the first thing she brings through is the song "Take It Easy." Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. You may win or you may lose, but you'll never something come this way again. I don't know. The song "Take It Easy" comes through. Um, everything that's going on right now, just take it easy. Take a breath. It's all gonna work out. It's gonna be okay. Don't let all the external things um, like bring you down. <clears throat> and then um, and then I hear that song, don't bring me down. Okay. And then the next thing that she is saying is um, if just, you know, um, it's like a course correction, she's saying. If you just correct one or two things, everything will be okay. So I know there's a lot going on and there has been a lot going on medically for you and your fam, your immediately immediate family. And there's just a, a course correction coming in. So it's a matter of doing everything you can to correct that, to make it uh, sustainable. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, uh -huh. And then to move forward with that and in that direction. Um, also, Is getting rid of somebody? Yeah, I heard yes. <laughs> yes, before I was going to go... Yes, be and roll my eyes at the same time before I and then I like stop myself. I'm like that. That seems a little bit like aggressive and fast, but yes. Um, I'm going to. T I'm going to say that, that a lot, and I just I feel so bad. No, okay, listen. That right there. Okay, for you, for everybody listening, listen to this. Guilt or feeling bad is not a reason to stay with somebody, whether they're a friend or a partner, because that feeling right there depletes you of your energy that you need to stay healthy. And let me tell you, just because this isn't the person for you, that doesn't mean they're not the person for somebody else. And whenever I'm like, whether it's a friend or a partner or whatever it is, I think if you're not my person, let's just use as a friend, go to the level of friends that you deserve or not deserve. Yep, deserve. And let me be with the level of friends that I deserve, whatever that looks like for us. And in the word deserve, I mean, our same frequency, our same energy. We have all the things in common. And when leaving a partner, yeah. I always say, I wish them the best. And I hope they find that person that makes them happy, no matter who it is. And they have a very happy life. Because if it's not me, I'm not so egoic or so empathic that I have to hold on to something that's not working for me because if it's not working for me, it's not working for them unless they're using me. And I don't want that. And I don't think they would. They want to be with somebody who's all in on them and loves them and isn't thinking 
that way about them. So in that way, you can kind of turn it around a little bit and say, you know what, I'm not the best person for you because at this point I have nothing but pity for you. And I'm going to let you go and I'm going <laughs> to let you be on your own and I'm going to let you find that person that's on your whatever so you can you can start again too and I can start again too. But when we're in energy that is lower energy, it will deplete us so quickly and it will deplete the people in our lives so quickly. And that's when we start to get sick. That's when we start to have bad things happen and we feel unlucky and we feel like things are going wrong all the time or especially when we're around them. So that's when it's time to just let go and let everybody above take the reins and then we get to move forward and just like start focusing on us again. Do not feel guilty for somebody and that's why you're staying with them. Okay, love? Okay. What would you, Thank okay, you. and let me turn that around just for a second. What would you, how would you feel if somebody stayed with you and you found out the only reason they were with you is because they felt bad? for you and they didn't want to let you go because they felt bad. That would be such an insult, I right? I it would have felt good. <laughs> no, it wouldn't feel good. So don't do it to somebody else. Just let them go. They're they're a full grown person. They'll they'll manage. They'll be okay. They will. They're a full grown person. They'll yeah. be just fine. Okay. I just get the guilt trip put on me and then I, it makes me even, yeah. That's, okay, stop <laughs> calling it, stop calling it the guilt trip and call it what it is, manipulation. It's just pure manipulation and yeah. the only reason somebody would manipulate you is to get what they want regardless of what you want and that is not love, that is just using you. Yeah. And it's time to let go of the users and abusers and let them be out on their own. OK, they yeah. can find some. Listen, awesome. the one thing that I have learned is people who use abuse, they always find somebody else right away. <laughs> like they, I, yeah. it's crazy to me how quickly they find somebody else to latch on to and just start sucking the life on that person. I'm sorry to put it that way, but they do. <laughs> they do. They do. And you just don't yeah. even worry about them. They just fall right into somebody else's arms. What and you move on. You need to focus on you and your family. Okay, okay love. Yes. Thank you. Tell you, grandma I love her. <laughs> oh, she knows. She knows. And she loves you too. Okay, love. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You are so welcome. You are very, very welcome. Um uh, hey Fawn, how are you? Uh, okay, I'm going to go back because I think Kathy asked a question. Hi, Tony. Do you hear anything about a company called Grail? I applied to them. Okay, are you going to get the job at Grail? Yes. Okay, I feel like you're going to get the job. You're going to get what you want. And it's not going to be complicated. I do feel like it might take a little bit longer than you're thinking. Be patient with this, with the process. They go. I don't know if I'm hearing that they go through a little bit of a process or if it's just the process is going to just take a little bit longer than you're thinking. 90 seconds. Either way, I do feel like it's going to be a good outcome for you. So just keep um, that image in your mind of exactly what you want. I want to thank everybody so much for joining me here today. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Remember, it's your job to make the miracles that you want to happen in your life. And that just happens step after step. Hold on to your vision of greatness because each and every one of us are capable of extreme greatness. That doesn't have to be what other people consider greatness, just what's great to you. And that's it. Thank you again. I will be back. Oh, tomorrow night with Marla, 8 p.m. Central Time. So please join us. Call in if you didn't get through today. Uh, call in tomorrow night. I'm so excited to do a nighttime show. I love you guys. Take care. 
Thank you.